It has been over six months since we last talked Honor Active on this channel. I figured it was high time to bring them on back. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here to do a little bit of an updated Honor Active haul. Now you guys know from my previous videos how I feel about Honor Active. As a whole, I like the brand. Some collections were hit or miss for me, such as the Timeless. You guys remember that? Wasn't totally vibing, wasn't quite the collection for me, but boy do I love their Effortless. Like that is such a good legging. It actually made it to my yearly roundup, you remember? In December, they were one of my top leggings of the year. With that being said, it has been almost a year since we've reviewed those leggings. So you'll be seeing some effortless, obviously, giving you guys my refreshed perspective on these leggings. And I'm also testing out their loungewear. They have a ton of sweats that are really popular. So I wanted to make sure that I tried some of these out in this haul. Guys, this video is brought to you in part by Ebby. They just launched some new seamless sheer colors. Here I have their brief and their bralette in the color Kiki. So if you look close, is a really gorgeous floral print, completely sheer. This features their no slip grip technology, so you never have to worry about any rolling or bunching. These are very seamless, so there's never any VPL. These are perfect lightweight pieces to throw underneath a sundress. I know the warm weather's coming, and I plan to wear all the summer dresses. These are very breathable, obviously, because they're sheer. For the bra, there's a one inch lift, wire free support, and the briefs have full coverage on the back. And guys, they just restocked their only bra. This sold out in less than a week, just launched last month, and 10% of their proceeds go towards microfinancing to help women starting businesses. Definitely be sure to use my code AshleyGata at checkout to save 15% off your entire order. I will have them linked down below. As you can see, I only managed to really grab two colors in this haul. That's because there's a lot of colors out of stock. Damn. Everything is in my true size small. Over here, I'll have my measurements. You can also find them in the description box below. Let's talk the minimal bra. Okay, when I saw that they launched this, I was like, okay, this is definitely gonna be right up my alley because you guys know me when it comes to bras. I love them as minimal as can be. Now, when I first put this on, I was actually shocked at how not minimal it is. <laughs> This is a lot more supportive than I anticipated. I really was expecting barely any coverage, very low, low support, kind of hanging around. But to my surprise, this bra held me in so well. When I first put the bra on, it didn't really do anything to the chest, but what you have to do is actually <laughs> move your boobs. Okay, some bras are like that. They don't just give you an instant lift. You have to do a little shifting around. Then, and only then, did my girls pop. Now this is in the color Amethyst. I'm actually really impressed with the fact that they embroidered the logo here. I actually really think that the backing is cute. You could wear it straight forward. They added a little clip on the back of the straps where you can just piece them together, make a little crisscross paddy whack on the back. So they are adjustable, very comfortable bra. Like I said, surprisingly supportive. I would give it even almost a moderate for me. In the center of the chest, they did add a nice ruching detail to mix things up. Now you do have removable bra pads, a small ribbed band, no elastic band down here. I do feel like my true size small is great. It's ever so slightly snug around this band ever so slightly. So I do believe that wearing this all day long might not be the most comfortable for me. I do think if you're in between and we have similar measurements, you might wanna consider sizing up. I just feel like this bra's a little bit snug. So out of every bra I've tried from them, the minimal is my jam. It gives me just the right amount of support, just the right amount of coverage, makes the girls look amazing and not something I'm afraid to wear to the gym. I grabbed the classic shorts in deep taupe with the everyday sports bra, deep taupe. So you can see right here right now, these are technically the same color, but they're not. This happens from time to time because the materials are very different, mostly cotton, and then you have some nylon and things going on here. Let's talk about the shorts. So I feel like their classic lounge, that whole range, has gotten a lot of hype lately. I've been hearing gals say, oh my God, I'm thinking about getting their sweats. What do you think? And I'm just like, I don't really know because I've never tried it. That's why I had to do this video. I have to say, something I've been wearing almost every single day, I'm not even kidding you, are sweat shorts that are about this length. I'm living in these like grandpa sweat shorts lately. So the length is perfect. I love that there's no high cut. Lately, I've just been liking straightforward sweat shorts. What I do appreciate is the fact that in their classic range, they added in zippered 
pockets. They did not slack there, that's wonderful. Um, Where the frig is the logo? There it is. <laughs> you have a tonal logo that's sewn in. I almost didn't see it, you almost got me on her. These shorts have more of a rugged texture. They're not plush, which is why I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them for the summertime. These are a relaxed fit, but I wouldn't necessarily give them an oversized fit. So on me, true size small, awesome. The only issue I think you might come into is the fact that they lack in stretch a bit. So you have to keep that in mind. I always say, if you're in between, size up when it comes to sweats. You want a little bit of extra room, don't you? Another risk you run is having lack of groin space. You do have a seam that runs down the middle. So if you size down too small, guess where that's gonna go? Yeah, you guessed it. Waistband's okay. Now, it is a heavy, thick rib. I am used to elasticated waistbands. This waistband style is a little too stiff, a little too tough, a little flat. I like a little more bounce to my waistband. <laughs> the everyday sports bra. So again, this is my first time ever trying this sports bra. When I first tried Honor Active, I wasn't totally impressed with their bras. I felt like they needed a little bit of work. So unlike the minimal, this is a lot more straightforward. In terms of overall design, you have two logos, one on the front, one on the back, very obvious. This is not a seamless design. You have the printed grip logos. You have a lot of seams going everywhere. You have a thick seam around the neckline and you also have a thick seam around the band. Now, unlike the minimal again, where there was just a ribbed band, this is an actual thick elastic band. Between the two, I really like the fit of the minimal bra a lot more. This had a bit more coverage in the front, fine. The back is okay. You have the Y seam, adjustable straps, which is a nice touch, but I do think that the way that the minimal bra sat right around my rib cage was a lot more comfortable than this. I don't feel like this band here works in my favor. Now, if you need a little more support, the minimal bra is not as supportive, perhaps this would work for you because this band will give you a little more support at the underbust. I felt the underbust had a little bit of extra material. Now, I didn't quite fill this area out. I don't think that adjusting the straps would help in my favor because I wouldn't want them any tighter. If your measurements are similar to mine, I would not suggest sizing up. If I were to size up, I'd have way too much material here. But if I were to size down, now this band's really gonna kick my ass. This bra is just slightly awkward in certain areas, so the sizing could be tough. Overall, I'm gonna stick with my true size small because I don't think sizing up or down would do me any good. I grabbed a full matching jogger set. This is the classic joggers and the classic oversized hoodie in the color slate blue. This set is very plush. Very cozy, soft, plush on the inside, whereas the shorts you just saw, more of a terry cotton. So in terms of the joggers, same overall design as the shorts. Same waistband, same zipper pockets, nice embroidered logo, everything is the same. Obviously, it's just a jogger. You have rib cuffs right on the bottom. The only difference I notice is the way it fits when you squat down. I know in the shorts I was okay, but when squatting in the joggers, because there's more material over the kneecaps, it actually tugs in the back and pulls it down a bit. Now, this is also due to the fact that there's really no stretch in these. I really do appreciate this relaxed fit. If it was any tighter with this lack of stretch, we'd have some issues, but because the fit is just enough relaxed, it's definitely doable. I don't suggest sizing down in any of these pieces, okay? If they had stretch, sure, go for it. But with this limited stretch, I mean, no. The hoodie is great. You have a nice large hood, oversized fit, two pockets, they are not zippered. Overall, very comfortable to wear. You do have rib paneling going down the sides. Out of all the different style of hoodies they offered, I had to go with the full zip. The reason being is because I noticed when I go to the gym, this is what I like to warm up in. I need a zipped hoodie so that I'm not trying to pull something over my head with a hat on, you know what I mean? That's awkward. So even though the inside is a full plush, the outside is still a cotton blend. So it's relatively soft, but do keep in mind it is cotton. Like I said, I'm sticking with my true size small in the joggers. When it comes to the hoodie, I think there's a little more flexibility with the sizing. Obviously it's oversized, so if you sized it down, you could probably get away with that and still be comfortable. I'm sticking with my true size small though. For me, the looser the better nowadays, and that is the trend. So you know I had to grab another effortless legging. There's definitely a reason why these leggings made it to my yearly roundup. Since that video, I've tried so many new brands and new leggings, and my ultimate takeaway is that I still love these leggings just as much. 
even though I have a lot more now to compare it to, I still rank these as some of my top five leggings of all time, seriously. These are in the regular slash short length. You could also get them in the long, but obviously I'm not gonna do that. I'm five foot three. Now I did notice they only have one logo on the Everlist now. So right down the leg towards the bottom, and again, it is knitted in, which is very lovely, but they completely took away the logo that used to be on the hip. There definitely used to be a freaking logo right here. I don't mind it being gone. I guess they only had room in the budget for one knit, not two. If they're gonna knit it, they gotta quit it with the other one. They knit it and quit it. I started adding in black and nude briefs into my squat test. This way I can give you a true representation of whether certain pieces are truly squat proof or not. In this overlap, you can see the difference. They are both seen. Both the nude and the black are seen in this deep top color, which is surprising. I'm not gonna lie, this is surprising because this is a relatively dark color, am I right? Oh, it's sheer all right. But that's also what makes this legging very breathable. Now, Honor Active has always had that disclaimer on their site. Because of the knitted fabric, these won't appear 100% squat proof. And honestly, that goes for a lot of brands, not just Honor Active. I'm noticing that the better the fit, the less squat proof it is. That is just how it is with leggings these days. Now, if you were to wear a nude seamless thong, which I always recommend in all of my videos, you'll be okay wearing this to the gym. I wear effortless leggings to the gym all the time, never ever feeling some type of way. The briefs are just there to give you an idea in case you have tattoos, or if it's that time of the month and you need to add a little something extra down there, different types of underwear you need to wear, that's what this squat test is for. Because this is a color I've never tried before, I decided to perform the sweat test. That big drop you see is because there was a leak in the bottle. That's not from the spray head. So please ignore that. Look at the rest of the surround area where I did a true spray. So it's great with sweat concealment, but not very good at taking the sweat off of the skin. I felt my stomach, it did feel wet. So even though it's great at concealing, not the best at wicking off of the skin. And just to quickly show you guys how these two pieces look together, again, both in deep taupe, the effortless have more of a washed out look. And just as a little throw over, I grabbed the classic mirror tee. I've been seeing these all over Instagram. You guys are loving these as cover-ups. I can see why. Actually, I can really see why because this material is soft. It's not like a normal rough cotton texture. There's a level of softness here, especially on the outside, I can feel it. It's almost like velvet. Not a ton of stretch, so they still kept that cotton quality to it. This is a printed logo on the back. Again, there you go, it's mirrored. And on the front, it's super minimal. It just says Honor Active, really tiny. Now this is in the color Washed Deep Taupe, so this is going to automatically have a lighter tone to it. So this is in a small, and it's the perfect oversized fit for a pump. I really don't feel like I need to size up in this whatsoever and normally in pump covers I do because I love them super oversized but here I don't feel like that's necessary they already did the oversized fit for you so my true size small works as an oversized fit but you can size down if you choose to all right guys, so that concludes this Honor Active haul. What did you guys think about these pieces? 90% of what I shared with you is my first time ever trying from Honor Active. Overall, really good vibes. I am so glad this haul went well because I felt really bad after the timeless review. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I did feel bad because I like Honor Active as a whole. So I'm really glad I got to try more from the brand. I really think they got something going on with their lounge pieces. You guys were right. I know you guys were suggesting this for the longest time and I'm glad I finally got to try them out. So thank you guys for the suggestions. I depend on them. I love when you guys suggest new brands, new pieces to try because I really wanna give you guys what you wanna see. So with that being said, drop a comment. What brands would you like to see next? Now I do have my eye on PopFlex. I was going to do a haul, but everything was out of my size. So keep an eye out. I will be having them in the very near future. In in the meantime, up next we have some Alphaly, Gymshark, you don't wanna miss it. A beautiful Buff Bunny collection that I can't talk about just yet, but trust me, it is totally my speed and I'm very excited for it. And we also have some new Petula that's gonna be launching this month. So stay tuned for all those videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you in my next video.